Hi guys, I'm Bobsy, and in this video I'm going to show you how to work with SyncVars in Pernet. Now, SyncVar is short for synchronized variable, which essentially allows you to synchronize pretty much any value that can be serialized very easily with pretty much just very few lines of code. So I'm going to show you how to work with that now. Now, first of all, we got to think of what we want to synchronize. Now, given you can synchronize any value, I'm going to make it simple and just synchronize a random number that's going to be above the head of the player. So on the player, I'm going to go to 3D object and I'm going to set some text above his head. I'm just going to call this number text. I'm just going to give it the number one, two, three, make it thick, place it in the middle. I'm going to scale it way down so it's a little nicer. Place it above his head and just flip it around. There we go. Now we have some nice text above his head and now we can get to the actual scripting. I'm going to go and create a new script and I'm just going to call this player number. Now here we have the player number script. First things first, let's make it inherit from network behavior. And for that, we're going to be using the pernet namespace. Now in order to set up a syncvar, it's actually very easy. And syncvars are also serializable, so you can see them in editor very easily. So if I just go and make a public syncvar, and I'm going to make this syncvar an integer for my number. And I'm just going to call this the player number. And I'm also going to serialize this as a new syncvar. I'm going to say that we serialize it just as the default value of zero. And then you, I can actually set the owner auth to true. Now let's go over that very quickly. What does owner auth mean? Well, owner auth means that the owner is who is authorized to change the number and not the server, which is this by default. This is something that's unique to Pernet. Every other network solution will pretty much require you to change the value, as far as I'm aware, through the server. Whereas our solution as well can allow you to just have it be the owner that actually changes the value. So let's go into the update loop and say if input dot get key down, key code dot e, then I want to count the number up. So I'm going to do player number dot value, which this is our integer, the value of the number. And I'm just going to do plus plus. And then we can do the same. I can just copy this line pretty much like so. And I can say if we use q, we do minus minus. This will then count the number down. Now, another thing we can also do is if we take our awake loop, we can actually subscribe to changes of this number, which is why we're going to be changing our number value or the text. So I'm going to reference the text. So I'm going to do a public TMP underscore text, which will be able to reference our text. And I'm just going to call this the number text. Now in here, we can say a player number dot unchanged plus equals to on player number changed. You can call this whatever you want, but of course this is easy for me and makes sense. So I'm going to create that method and this will be our new value, a new number, we can call it. And in here we want to set our number text dot text equals to the new number dot to string. This should now set the value above the player's head. Let's also very easily by default just set the text to zero or zero as a string I suppose, like so. And for good measure, always make sure that you unsubscribe. So let's do undestroy. We'll just unsubscribe from the event again, like so. And now this should really be it. If we go back to our uh, prefab here. Let's add the player number script onto it. And let's also make sure that the script is disabled similar to the player movement. I'm going to similarly disable this script as well, the player number script. I'm going to feed it the number text. And you'll also notice that we have this little player number drop down here, which will show our value. This will be the default value right here and show whether it's server auth as well. So instead of doing it through code, you can also very easily just set the default values out here. It, that will also work just fine. Now that I've saved this, let's try and click play. You'll see we have the number zero above the head of our plan. If I press E, it counts up. If I press Q, it counts down. Now let me just count up to something like 12. And now I'm going to join on my client. You can see he's joined. And notice how he immediately sees the number 12 now because the unchanged event ran. And he has the number zero. And you can see he can also count this number up and down as well. As you can see, this works perfectly fine. And it's really as easy as that working with SyncVars. Now keep in mind with SyncVars, you can really work with it in any way that you want. So you can also very easily sync something like, uh, let me do public SyncVar. And we can sync something like a bool, we can sync something like a vector three. Or for that sake, I could even very easily make my own struct. So I could just do private struct, I'm gonna call it my data. And now my data could hold a public string name. It could hold a public int age. It could hold a public float for weight or whatever we want. And then I could take my data and synchronize that as well. And I'll just call this my data equals to a new sync bar. Sorry, it's because I made it public and the struct is private. Amateur mistake right there. And there we go. And now you can see now we're synchronizing my data. So whenever my data would change, it would do the exact same, call the unchanged event. It'll call the change event with the my data value. And it's really as easy as that to use. 
So good luck and have fun synchronizing values. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to auto synchronize values without even having to do anything in code with our auto syncing component or reflection component. So look forward to that. And I just hope that you have a wonderful day. Remember to join the Pernet Discord link will be in the description and in the pinned comment. And other than that, remember to like and subscribe and leave a nice comment. Love you all. Have a nice day. Bye.